Okay, you must enter the cap with three points of contact. One, two, and three. You must get in facing the cap. You must get out facing the cap. Okay. In cap inspection, you already you guys already know you must enter with three points of contact. Okay, next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your ignition a quarter turn to the right. Your ABS light is gonna come on. You have to tell the examiner, examiner, my ABS light works. If he asks you, how do you know that it works? It's because it turned on and it turned off. Color doesn't matter here. Over here, it has to turn off. If it's, if it's on, that means your system back there is off. Okay. Now, I'm gonna do my safety start. Beginning with my seatbelt. Securely mounted, now cut or fray. Make sure that your seatbelt locks in and locks out. You must keep your seatbelt on for the rest of the test. Fuses, a minimum of six fuses in your truck. Or one box. Triangles, a minimum of three triangles in your truck, proper color red. Fire extinguisher, securely mounted, proper level on the green with updated sticker. I'm gonna inspect my floor, make sure there's no debris or no foreign objects that's gonna go and obstruct my pedals. My windshield securely mounted, no cracks, no illegal stickers, no obstructions. My windshield wipers working properly. Now the water for my windshield, which is gonna help me test for leaks. Not working, I cannot test for leaks, I'm gonna put it on my report. Highway horn. City horn, highway horn, my bad. City horn, highway horn. I'm gonna make sure my mirrors are adjusted to my sight. Now, I'm gonna inspect my defroster. Make sure you set it on the right setting. Make sure it's hot. Defroster and fan speed. My defroster working properly. Heater. Working properly. Now, examiner, will you help me with my lights? You're gonna flick your lights up like this. That's gonna turn on your headlights on the front of the tractor, back of the tractor, side of the trailer, back of the trailer. Oh, also your market lights on top of the tractor and on top of the trailer. High beams inside of the cab front of the tractor, left blinker, inside of the cab, front of the tractor, back of the tractor, side of the trailer, back of the trailer, L right blinker, inside of the cab, front of the tractor, back of the tractor, side of the trailer, back of the trailer. Now do we ask him to look at it for us? That's why you said at the beginning, examiner, will you help me with my lights? Okay, so that covers that then. Cool. Four-way flashers, inside of my cab, front of the tractor, back of the tractor, side of the trailer, back of the trailer. Brake lights, back of the tractor, back of the trailer. Now you are done with your lights. Now I'm gonna inspect my gauges. My oil gauge working properly and should be at the proper level. What's the proper level? 20 to 40 PSI. Water gauge working properly and should be at the proper level. What's the proper level? 170 to 210 degrees. Voltage meter working properly and should be at the proper level. What's the proper level? 12 to 14 volts. My primary and secondary air tanks 
working properly and should be at the proper level. What's the proper level? 125 to 140 PSI. Now, I'm gonna go over my cap one more time. Make sure I don't forget anything. Horns, windshield wiper, water, gauges, lights, windshield, defroster, heater, safety equipment, floor, mirrors. That covers everything. Now, I'm gonna go into my service brake test. Foot on the brake. Place the vehicle on drive. Push in both buttons. Hang on to your steering wheel. You're gonna go forward five miles an hour. You're gonna hit the brakes. Examiner, my truck does not pull to the left or to the right. My service brakes are working good. You're gonna place the vehicle on reverse. You're gonna bring it back to the original spot. Place the vehicle in neutral. Now, you're gonna test your parking brake. You're gonna hold on to your emergency brake and pull out your parking brake. Place the vehicle on drive. Foot on the accelerator. You shouldn't move. Your tractor is gonna hold you in place. Foot on the brake. Push in your parking brake. Pull out your emergency brake. Foot on the accelerator. You shouldn't move. Your trailer brakes are keeping you in place. Now, place the vehicle in neutral. Push in both buttons. Take your foot off of the brake. Charge up your system. No more than 2,000 RPMs. Governor cutoff or 120? See, right now it's not even 100. I don't have enough air to do my my uh, leak test. When you say governor, when you hear that, the compressor. The, the governor for the compressor cuts off. That's an auditory signal, right? You're gonna hear something. You're gonna hear it. Yeah. the governor cutting off. Examine it, my governor just cut off. You're gonna shut off your ignition. Or just wait for it to get to 120, right? And then you can take you it You can off. wait until it gets to 120. Me, I wait until the governor cuts off. So you hear it go That's my cue. Okay. Now, when you shut off your engine, you gotta turn your key back again to the right. Your gauges are gonna light up. Your board's gonna light up. Your gauges are gonna go forward and then they go back. When they go back, that's your cue to begin your lap test which stands for leaks, alarm, and buttons. Now, you're gonna press your brake for one minute and you should not lose more than four PSI. Also, you're gonna be listening for leaks. Make sure you have a wristwatch for this test and you count out the full 60 seconds. So 60 seconds right there. So examine it, I do not hear any leaks. Your watch says 60 seconds are up. I did not lose more than four PSI. Now, do the whole 60 seconds for the, him? And you, you literally do. need a wristwatch or we use our phone? No, wristwatch, right. gotta go get a wristwatch. That's, that's what I just said. Because right. the reason why, if you got your phone and you drop your phone, now what? You gotta get your foot off the brake. Yeah. Like I said, to me, it's better if you bring a wristwatch, okay? Now, you're gonna fan your brake, and before 55 PSI, you alarm should sound. Examiner, my alarm works. And I'll tell you what, I've heard the examiner ask this, and people don't know how to answer. How do you know that your alarm works? Well, I can see it, and I can hear it. How people fail because of that? It's a dumb question, they get nervous. 
you have to answer it. How, how do you know the alarm works? I see. How do you know that alarm works? You hear it, right? Okay, well, they say it. And that's what, I, that's what happened to me. The guy just froze. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, now, now that my alarm works, I'm gonna continue to fan my brake and approximately 40 PSI, my two buttons should jump out. Examiner, both of my buttons jumped out. Done deal. I am now done with my test. That's it. Cool.